We all get knocked down in every aspect of life. You're going to fall flat on your face. You're going to be criticized when you come out into the arena called life. You're going to feel awkward and stupid and dumb sometimes. But it's okay. It goes with the territory. When the defining moment comes, either you define the moment or the moment defines you. Either you define the moment you decided that you're going to not concern yourself with the naysayers. That you're not going to concern yourself with what has happened or what hasn't happened. But you're going to make the commitment to do what you've got to do so that you can have a lifestyle that you've never experienced before. Or the moment defines you. And you decide to play it safe. And 20 years from now you say to yourself, what if I would have taken a chance on myself? What if I would have stayed in the game? What if I would have kept making the phone calls? What if, what if, and what if? But let me tell you something. Something amazing begins to happen when you make the decision to move forward on your goals and your dreams. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You have to learn to turn and look at every obstacle as an opportunity. You gotta get gritty, man. You gotta develop some dog in you. Life is gonna throw some serious blows, some body blows, and they go hurt. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's gonna take its place? Success. No pain, no gain. Pain has a purpose. Don't go through it, grow through it. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize. I challenge you to push yourself. When you get knocked down and you're going to get knocked down, when you run into some roadblocks and you're going to run into them, when you have some setbacks, you can always be able to bring yourself back in knowing if someone has done it, it's possible that I can do it. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. Fight your way through this battle. You have what it takes. Your greatness comes from within. And once you realize that, nothing will stop you. Nothing will keep you from being great. It's already there. You just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason. I want what all other men want. But when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. What you become in the process is more important than the dream. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. And so here's what I say to you. There are going to be times that you're going to be wondering, why should I keep showing up and working my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? And what I want to remind you is that you got to show up for your life regardless of the circumstances. You got to show up in spite of the naysayers. You got to show up in spite of the conversation going on in your mind. You got to show up for your life because if you don't, nobody else will. You will fail. You will likely fail often. It will be painful. It will be discouraging. At times it will test you to your very core. It will not be easy. This is for those of you who are going through the fire. Those of you who are wondering, how can I keep going like this? Some of you have been through so much that you should have lost your mind. It's all right to fail as long as you fail forward. It's all right, but I need you to have heart because there's some things you just can't get without perseverance. Don't think it's strange when things happen to you because every man, every woman, every boy, every girl will go through a time where your faith will be tested. 
you will hit something. And when you do, you will have a choice. Many choose to turn around. They feel a little pain, then they run away. But there is a small number who decide that the pain is worth the price. They will do whatever is required to make it past this. I know it's hard. And I know it may look hopeless. But if you just keep pushing forward, you'll see how strong you truly are. When things are going bad, there's going to be some good that will come from it. Mission got canceled? Good. We can focus on another one. Didn't get promoted? Good. More time to get better. Didn't get funded? Good. We own more of the company. Didn't get the job you wanted? Good. Go out, gain more experience, build a better resume. Got injured? Good. You needed a break from training. Got beat? Good. We learned. Unexpected problems? Good. We have an opportunity to figure out a solution. That's it. When things are going bad, don't get all bummed out, don't get startled, don't get frustrated. No. Take that issue. Take that setback. Take that problem and turn it into something good. Go forward. If you can say the word good, it means you're still alive. It means you're still breathing. It means you've still got some fight left in you. So get up, dust off, reload, recalibrate, re-engage and go out on the attack.